guys today I'm going to come to you with a pick a card and it's going to be for Sagittarius so it's just whatever random messages that come out this is for pile one everyday witches well everyday witch Sagittarius I hope you are enjoying your birthday if it's your birthday today happy birthday this is pile two any music you hear in the background, I do not have any copyrights to it. This is the card. If you see any smoke billowing, it's between my weed smoke and my sage. If you smoke, pull up and smoke with me. If you drink, get your drink, kick up your feet, and see if you could get a message. This is the card. Pal 3 is the Tower of Dreams. If you want to know about my contest, just look inside the description box. It's going to be next to the um, timestamp. I'm going to start pinning it there because the community section is, I don't want it there. So pick your pal. I'll be back with you. Pal 1, you're up. So we're just going to see what comes out for you guys for Sagittarius season. Gatekeepers, what does pal 1 need to know right now? If you want to know, I'm smoking blackberry, blackberry runs. What does how one need to know? The keepers. This is the kipper deck. If you want to know what I'm starting out with, and if I can't get any messages out of here, I'm just gonna go to the tarot of rich, the everyday witch tarot. Sorry. Is there anything that the power one needs to know, gatekeepers, from this step? I have marriage. I have a couple so far. It looks like a marriage. You are married or you may be engaged. Or a marriage is coming towards you. False person. Can I get one more card, gatekeepers? Thank you. And we have thief. Wow. One, one last card, if possible. Okay, I'm not going to force it. So we have marriage, false person, and thief. So it seems like right now that you was married to a false person and he was a thief. He or she, because remember, energy is interchangeable. If I say he could be a she, if I say she could be a he. Maybe the number three, the number eight, and the number 24 is um, significant to you. Or maybe you should look up that number, 3824, as an angel number. What's going on with the marriage, gatekeepers? Why is the marriage? The Ten of Wands came. There was a lot of burdens with this marriage. It was a lot of fire, I mean, irons in a fire. Somebody was taking on more than they can, they can handle. It was an uphill battle, it seemed like. And maybe this person wasn't showing this. Maybe they kept it hidden, that this is how they felt. What's going on with the false person? Why is the false person here for pal? One, gatekeepers. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So maybe this person, you thought that they were a, a Wheel of Fortune, like someone that's very um, um, fortunate, someone that's very... Um, Anytime I look for particular words, my brain shut down. I don't like giving you limited meanings or exp But this person came across like they had their stuff together, like they had something that you could, um, let me show you, something that you can actually work with, something you can build on or build with. But this person was a fraud. They didn't have anything. They had the false person here is a fire sign. Maybe, it, I think it's a Sagittarius. But if you see in the background, this 
both of these people have fire prominent in their card. I mean, in their chart. They could be two fire signs, maybe not. But I, the woman looks like a Sagittarius. So she came across like very pretty, very charming, very alluring. Very fiery, very passionate. Maybe the initials N, C, and M is significant to you guys. But yeah. And you can tell she's very mysterious too because you know how she have a fan, the lace fan. Back in those times, women came across very feminine, very, very alluring, very intriguing. So the Wheel of Fortune is here in reverse. This person presented something that was not true. Why is the thief here? For, that came out quick. The thief here because somebody was working hard on stealing whatever they stole from you. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Here, this woman looked like she's working on a potion. Maybe somebody was doing um, spell work on you. And then this thief card. You have a couple, a man and a lady again. Whoever you are as a female, you're very pretty. The man is very handsome too. You look like a very nice couple. Very, very nice couple. Um... Yeah, but you see how the person is at his pocket watch? Like he's still in it. But he's kind of distracted because if you can see his eyes is looking the opposite way and the lady's in the background, like on the side of him laughing. So there was thievery going on. And this person worked at whatever they did. They worked on his plan, his potion. They worked on this. Tell me more about this thief card, gatekeepers, for pal. The eight of wands. A Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. This was done haphazardously. And this caused the uproar. This caused uh, uh, for things to spin out of control. Maybe they was exposed through communication. Somebody exposed them through impulsivity. Exposed the plan, the thief, if, if they got to steal, maybe they were exposed before they was able to go through what they planned. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands also is um like impulsive communication and impulse. Yeah, this was an impulsive action. This happened impulsively. The Four of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is someone who's very selfish, someone who's petty. Who wants, someone could be very reserved as well. Someone that um, likes to take and not give. They had somebody as a, um, a lookout too. Somebody was working with this person. There's two people in this card as well. The woman and the man. They seem like they distracted him working together. There's a cat in this card. Cat is sneaky. Cat is also intuition. Cats can be guides. But there was somebody involved in this plan. Look at the cat. And this cat is overseeing what this person is doing. So maybe they hired somebody to do this. Tell me more about this false person. Gatekeepers. The two of wands. Which is a, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And to me, it's an Aries energy. This person is either on the opposite side of the world doing this to you. Or this is someone who's very kind of powerful. And have the world at his, at his hands. They bend will. It's, when I say world, I was saying like they bend will. They can they can bend energy. And it's a fire, I mean, a, a fire sign. So they, I'm pretty sure they can bend energy. And then you have the Leo right here. With the strength. Yeah, there, there, there was spell work involved with this. 
this false woman came across like she was a very strong person. Very strong. Like she was very intuitive as well. Like very regal. Like she had everything going for herself. Like she had the world in her hands. But she was a false person. He or she. They were false. They had no will of fortune. All they had was burdens and karma. But you couldn't see that. Whoever you are. Tell me more about this marriage and ten of wands. Gatekeepers please. Tell me more about the marriage and the ten of wands. Okay. Let's do it this way. Tell me more about the burdens that this... Ten of Wands is carrying. And with this marriage. This person could be... The, the, you, if you are a female going through this, you could have been a younger female and a, the husband was older. It could be an age difference with this. The Empress in reverse. That's who this um, Ten of Wands is with this marriage. So the Empress in The Empress, I'll show you up right. It's a Taurus and Libra energy. I don't know if you're pregnant right now. Or if you had given birth. But a uh, empress uh, uh, in reverse. Well, let's start with this. A to uh, I keep saying a Taurus. There must be a Taurus doing this. More so than a Libra. I keep saying Taurus. But upright, very nurturing, very fertile. She's mo the mother of all mothers. She, this person is every queen within one. The queen of pentacles, queen of um, cups, queen of um, swords, and queen of wands. In reverse, this person is... She's not very nurturing. She's not very fertile. She's not very, um, she doesn't bring forth, um, any, any, how can I say it? She doesn't bring forth any, um, she doesn't bear good fruit. Let's say that. She doesn't bear good fruit. She comes across very impulsive, very detached. She doesn't have any emotions. She does, she delves in spell work because the Empress is somebody that is, um, someone that's kind of like the magician. She have all elements within her or he. Why is the Empress in reverse here? And then I'm going to end this. Two of Pentacles. Because of options. Always having things up in the air. Always trying to manifest something different. Always being sneaky. Always having an agenda. Always having balls up in the air. Why is the two of pentacles? That shot out quick. The chariot. Yeah, the cherry always having options. See, you have this way, that way. This is Cancer energy. It could be um, Sagittarius energy too. Or you could say Capricorn, or you could say Gemini, because that's the flip side of a, um, a Sagittarius, and that's the flip side of a Cancer. Yeah, the person had options. They didn't know which way to go. They was going on the right path, but then they became distracted for some reason. And on the bottom, it says the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands... Hold on. This person was cheating. Some of you guys, this person got caught up cheating. The Queen of Wands is a Sagittarius. It's a false person. Someone fiery. I explained it to you already. She's very fiery. She comes across very alluring, very regal, very... very Flirtatious, very fiery. She smell good. She looks good. But it was a false person. And behind that is the devil. Lord, then with money and goods. And somebody was trying to get this person attention. Their higher intuition was trying to get their, into, um, their attention, but they wasn't paying attention. They were lured away. 
If you have gotten anything from this view, guys, I appreciate it if you will um, like and subscribe. If you want to be a part of the contest, look by the um, timestamp and you will see the instructions. The Knight of Wands is here. Somebody very fiery like to have sex. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Somebody impulsive. So, until next time, you guys take care. Pile 2, you guys are up. Look for the time and the timestamp. If you want to be a part of the contest, it's going to be in the description with the timestamp. For starters, I'm going to use the Kipper deck and see if we could get any messages from you. If we can't get anything from here, I'm going to go straight to the um, Gilded Tarot. If you're interested, I'm smoking Blackberry Runs. If you smoke, pull up with me and smoke. Get your drink, too, if you're a drinker. For Pal 2, what messages does Pal 2 need to know? Gatekeepers. You have Thief. What else they need to know? What else they need to know, Gatekeepers? The smoke, you see? It's between my sage and my weed, but it's really my sage, so I hope it's not bothering you. What else do you need to know, gatekeepers? What other messages do you need to know about this thief, gatekeepers? You have a message. What else do you need to know about this thief and this message, gatekeepers? What they need to know about this thief and this message that's coming? What they need to know about this thief? Whoa. Where did the car go? You have community. So, one second. Sorry for that. Okay, so I have to cut this deck because I prepped it, but I didn't cut it. I'll cut it in front of you. So for the thief, so far, somebody is getting a message from that somebody been stealing. Or the message is coming from somebody in the community that somebody here is stealing. Somebody's being distracted and being stolen from and people is talking about it. Somehow you're going to get a message, maybe an email, a text message. Somebody come talking to you and spontaneously say it to you. Gatekeepers, what's going on with Pal 2 and this thief? What do they need to know? And they fell right on the thief. Check that out. Five of Wands, confrontation. It's confrontation going on. It's fighting, competition, confrontation, competition. There's fighting. There could be criminal activity. This is Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Aries. If you've been called to go in the other pals, please do so. What's going on with this um, competition? And this is also get back, too. This could be looked at as get back. Somebody trying to get some get back. What's going on with this Five of Wands and this Thief? It's amazing how the cards keep flying way over here. Ten of Cups. It was a competition in the family. A family group, a, a friend group. Because the Ten of Cups is um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, but it's upside down. It's normally Pisces energy. There's something going on in this, this friendship. Right here, it looks like a mother and daughter, too. So maybe a mother and daughter, an aunt and a mother, an aunt and a niece, a grandmother and a granddaughter. Something's going on between two families with competition. And competitiveness and somebody trying to get back at you. Somebody trying to steal from you. What's going on with this Ten of Cups, gatekeepers? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Look, it keep flying right over there. The Page of Wands. This is a fire sign. A Aries energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This Page of Wands is trying to bring an offer, a this page of wands also is very intuitive. It's like a child 
or it could be a, a, a adult that acts like a child. But this is a brand new offering. Um, something creative. A come together gap. But somebody's coming. Some young person that's in a page of wands energy is coming. Because there is there's um there's something going on with this ten of cups. There's not a happy home here. And like I said, there's competition and there's fighting, there's competitiveness. This could be, I say, again, drug activity. This could be, yeah, this could be, yeah. What's going on with this message here? And I'm sure the message is coming right here from this page of wands. What is this message about, gatekeepers? What do, well, the cards are just falling where they need to fall. Third party, three of cups. It could be cheating in a relationship. It could be friends coming together and plotting. It could be um, family coming together, plotting. People trying to set somebody up at a party when they go to a party. What's this Three of Cups about? Um, again, this is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer Energy. What is this Three of Cups in this message about? And when I said this person is very intuitive, it, they are. What's going on with this Three of Cups? Gatekeepers, what do we need to know about this Three of Cups? King of Cups. Somebody that looks very mature, come across very mature, very nurturing, very loving, very caring, very grounded. This could be somebody mother, could be somebody father, could be somebody husband, could be somebody's uncle. But it came out with the Three of Cups. So this is somebody, and it's, this person is looking down on a community. So maybe this King of Cups is out partying. I don't know. No, it doesn't seem like that. But somehow this community knows what's going on with this King of Cups in this party. And the message is coming through. And the message is going to come through, it seems like, through this Page of Cups. I mean, the Page of Wands. I don't know why I said Page of Cups. It could be a Page of Cups coming across as a Page of Wands. What's going on with this community? Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is... The Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody um, in a community is turning a blind eye to... No. Why is this Knight of Cups here with this community? Why is this Knight of Cups here with this community? Knight of Cups is an energy that moves very slow. Okay. The Nine of Cups is looking back at a Nine of Pentacles. A Nine of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but it's a Virgo energy. And the only way I love to explain it to get to the gist of what's going on with the um, Nine of Pentacles, she comes across as somebody bougie. She smells good. She looks good. She's opulent. She has her money together. She has her career together. She could be a business person. She could have a good job. She could come from money. And she delves in transformations. She continuously grow and change. So this Knight of Pentacles is looking back at this um this Knight Knight of Pentacles is looking back at this Nine of Pentacles and a, and the community is here. What does let me see something? What is the Nine of Pentacles? No, I don't. What does the Page of um, Wands want to come bring to? Why is the Great Page of Wands here for Pal Two? What is this page of wands here for? The lovers, choices, Gemini energy. Oh, the queen of swords just flipped out. You saw that? You saw that. I didn't mean for that to happen. And the three of, um, three of swords is behind the queen of swords. Three of swords is, um, not three of, yeah, three of swords. Libra, a Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this person that um, is strong, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They come across as fire, but they could be um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Because the flip side of that is fire, which is Leo, Sagittarius, and um, Aries. And they have choices. Well, this person had choices. It seemed like they picked the wrong choice because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And the five, um, five, five of Wands here with competition and competitiveness and all type of get back and crazy going on over there. So somebody picked the wrong person and they heartbroke about it. 
And there's no clearing for them. They in the fog right now. They thinking, being that they heartbroken, they thinking is very foggy, very cloudy. And it doesn't seem like no clearing is coming. It seems like the fog is just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And this has to do with this thief and this message. What's going on with the community? I want to know what's going on with the community. I'm going to end this. The temperance of Sagittarius and the two of Pentacles. Somebody that's always juggling. They trying to balance this. This number but balance. Look. They trying to balance. Virgo, a Capricorn, Taurus. Same thing with this. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. They trying to balance. Or they trying to juggle. And the community is watching this. This is a family. Something going on with a family. Why is the Knight of Pentacles looking back at the Nine of Pentacles? Judgment. Something judgment is being called. This is this is karma. And the universe is calling judgment on this. You guys know what's going on here. Because I'm digging and digging. It's just getting. I'm surprised the moon didn't pop out. But this is judgment. Judgment is being called here. You guys. So whatever fight and competitiveness going on, the stealing that has gone on, it being exposed through this letter and this page of um, wands coming over here. And these um, the lovers with the choices. And a heartbreak and a competitiveness and a family is not in a good standing. The family is somebody's family, somebody's friends group is not going good. It's not. And this knight, king of pentacles is looking down here at this nine of pentacles. Like this third party and all of this, he trying to get away from this and come to this nine of pentacles. Trying to look for a happier time and a hermit. The Virgo is at the bottom. Somebody is introspection. Judgment is being called. So, you guys, if you have gotten anything from this pal, you can let me know. I appreciate if you like or subscribe. Take care. Pal 3, you're up. Um, for the timestamp, look inside the description box. If you want to be a part of the competition, look inside the description box. For this pal, um, for some reason, I want you guys to be careful. Because when I was starting this reading, all type of stuff started falling, dropping, kind of like want to break the song in the background said be careful love will catch up with love. be careful because love will sneak up on you like a thief in the night so the energy around this already is like just be careful for this just keep your eyes out until the new year just keep your eyes peeled for things going wrong i smoke in my video you can see i'm smoking i smoke sherbet this is a sh sherbet split so if you smoke pull up and smoke with me if you drink you can have a drink with me. Kick up your feet. See if you could get a message. I'm going to try to get some messages out of the Kipper deck. If I can't get none here, I'm going to go straight to the deck that you pick, which is Everyday's Witch. Gatekeepers, what does Pound 3 need to know? If you have gotten anything um, from this, I would like if you would like or subscribe. And if you've been called to go on any of the pals, please go. Because most of my um, readings be like personal readings for some people. I have courtship that came out. Somebody's interested in courting you and you're not interested in it. You're looking away. You don't want to be bothered, it seems like. Then you have somebody high of honor and then you have a wealthy man. So this is what's coming into you. Oh, one second. Sorry. I prepared your deck, but never cut it. So a wealthy man look like a wealthy man high of honor look like he wants to court you, but you don't want to court him. Why is the, um, the courtship card here for Pal Three Gatekeepers? What do they need to know about this courtship? If it's your birthday today, happy birthday to you, Saggy. In general, if you are Saggy and today's not your birthday, enjoy your birthday season. The tree of life came out, which means you have gone through every cycle of um, hold on one second. The Knight of Wands, um, came, I mean, the Ace of Wands in reverse came out, which what I'm saying is the truth for the wealthy, the wealthy man. This wealthy man likes to have, um, like the Ace of Wands is someone that's, um, a Sagittarius, Leo or Aries. This person is normally, normally creative. This person is normally p passionate. They like to travel. They like to go on adventures. They very, um, um, animalistic. They like to have sex a lot. 
yeah, they, they, they like to have impulsive, fiery sex. This, <laughs> this is a person who has no problem keeping up his energy, but he's in reverse. So this person is a very toxic person, extremely toxic. And he want to court you, but a tree of life came out. This means that you, you've gone through the court of the tree of life is basically like the world. You've been there, done that. Why is the ace of wands in reverse with this person, with this wealthy man? Because of the three of cups. He likes to have fun. He likes to have third parties. He likes to be in type of mysterious stuff, keep things hidden. He's not a person that put things out on the open. And this is a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, but this is a Cancer energy. This person could have, um, yeah, it's a Cancer energy. Cancer and Mercury they could have. Cancer and they Mercury. What's up with the high honor card here for um, power three gatekeepers? Why is the high honor here? The page of wands came out. So one that's very fiery. Somebody's young, very fiery and impulsive, very um, passionate, but they're very sneaky and conniving as well. Just look at them. And this is a person that comes across as young, but they're mature. But they're emotionally immature. They're very fiery, very impulsive. This is the high honor. And also the page of swords. So this person is very childish. So it's either a fire sign or an air sign. Because the opposite end of a fire sign is an air sign. So it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, and an um, a Aries. But right here, this is um, Gemini and Aries energy. And this is the high honor person. They very childish, but they don't they don't come across as childish and they have a lot of options. This is a person who have a shiny syndrome, shiny object syndrome. This person have um Venus and Scorpio potentially, but it's a well, Scorpio um Pisces Cancer card. But they got Venus and Scorpio. Yeah, this person have a shiny um um syndrome shiny object syndrome. Whatever glitters they think is gold. It could be a rock and it's glitter and they think it's gold. There's, this is a Aquarius energy, very, um, a visionary, somebody that's a visionary, very smart and everything, but they need to balance themselves. They really do. Why is the tree of life here? The tree of life is here because the king of pentacles, like I said, you've been here and done that. You mature. You're a mature person. You're about your money. You're about things that's grounded and structured. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You don't, you don't want no nonsense like this, no shenanigans. And this person is the, um, is pretty burdened behind this, actually. Because you're being guarded. You're blocking yourself. Yeah, you don't want to be bothered with this nonsense. And Leo energy here. It's a lot of Leo energy here. Air or fire energy. Fire sign or air sign predominantly right here. It's a little cups energy here as far as manipulating you and stuff like that. But yeah. If you have gotten anything from this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.